pee on it, huh? As Dr. King says, it's always the right time to do the right thing. So I stood up and I said, hey, wait, where's Jill Stein? Where's the other governor candidates? This is a mockery of democracy. There's five candidates for governor. There should be five candidates in this debate, not just the, you know, the two you got up there. And all of a sudden, everybody stopped. The cameras turned on me, and everybody stared at me. And it's like, what do I do now? It's like, where's Jill Stein? And you know, she's the Green Party candidate. Where's the other candidates? This is a mockery of democracy. Thank you so much for joining us for the last few miles. We really appreciate it. Does everyone who wants a vest have a vest? I think our new walkers don't have vests. Hey guys, this is the last day. Six and a half miles all downhill. It's sunny. If you ever need to buy an RV, buy it from them. They have graciously offered very last minute to host our cars. Echo. So it was ecology, the way of ecology with your license plate. Exactly. <laughs> Andy, what are those things that you are carrying? Special brownies. Oh, thank you. You have a cookie, break it in half. <laughs> we walk with love for our country to honor our grannies and sons. We walk to the end of corruption. To the will of the people be done. So I get the award for the person who fell the most. Yes! Since you guys are the last group, go right inside, grab a hot meal, everybody will cheer, clap for you, eat, and then we'll, hundreds of us will just start going right down to the Capitol. So grab no. Corporations are not people, money is not speech! July 4th, 1776, our founding fathers planted a seed, a seed of independence, a seed of liberty, a seed of justice for all. To say no matter the cost, we will root out this corruption. Well, my classmates and I have just walked 46 and a half miles from Portsmouth to Concord. support democracy. And I promise you it wasn't for our health. <laughs> but I do not want to enter the adult world only to find that decisions about my life and my home are being made by a tiny group of people my peers and I did not elect. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. Right. <laughs>
a businessman from Burlington in far western New Hampshire, <laughs> aka Vermont. We're glad to welcome the co-founder of Ben & Jerry's, a man who is stamping big money out of politics as his full-time job since giving up the ice cream business. Please welcome Ben Cohen. And I know that making a political donation what John McCain has called legalized bribery in exchange for sweetheart deals, corporate welfare, and tax breaks is the most profitable investment a corporation can make and they're going to keep on making it until we stamp money out of politics. For three decades now, Washington politicians in both parties in every election promise us fiscal responsibility. That's a core precept of republicanism. And instead, they've loaded our kids and grandkids and my own 17-year-old son with a millstone of debt. And they're doing this because they're paid to do it by this corrupt campaign system. And they've robbed prosperity from our future and they're preventing our country from defending itself. Tax, bake, tax breaks for big money campaign contributors paid for by higher rates on the rest of us, all of us. Please welcome. So in the Dixville Notch, there was a guy named St Crazy Steve. This was his hat. <laughs> and at the end of his time on our walk, he handed me the hat and he said, this is for you. That's why they can call me Crazy Larry now. And I can tell you that when I had this idea of a walk from Dixville Notch to Nashua last year, there were many people who said, that's crazy, Larry, it's crazy. But I want you to look around this area and look at crazy, because this is what crazy runs, this movement. The New Hampshire Rebellion has the chance to give back to America the democracy that the big money has stolen. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you. God bless. Benny D. And, <laughs> and to see that happen was just amazing. So anyway, um, people who've been with us from the beginning until the end, George Embley and his wife, the driver, Sarah, uh, Sally Embley. Gets my award for pushing through the most pain. <laughs> 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 Michael Hammer, who is our wonderful breakfast cook. Yeah. <laughs> John Wallace, who is my good buddy. So we had Chinese one night. Uh, thank you, Mary. Uh, <laughs> buying Chinese for everybody on the final evening of the event, um, and that was the first fortune cookie that was opened at Pound Bakery this afternoon. Oh, cool. oh. A mile walk with a friend contains only a hundred steps. Nice. Mm -hmm. And all right, Nashua. <laughs> 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 <laughs>